Hello everybody, I am Dr. Deeksha Pandey and you are watching Urogynecology for, for Big Mass. Um, some months ago, I had posted a video on anatomy from a urogynecologist's yes. point of view, which is important actually not only for urogynecology, for all obstetricians and all gynecologists. In this anatomy, we spoke about nine spaces, which are important for all PGs and all consultants to understand and remember. So one by one, now we thought that we will be dealing with these topics as many of you have requested, but nine topics will become a big series to deal with in one day. So what we have decided that one topic at a time in one episode will deal. So today we are going to discuss the first space in pelvis and what is that space? White line. It is ATFP. Oh, so <laughs> controversy starts from the very beginning. So the first space Monica, who is there with me, who is our fellow this year, says that she wants to discuss a space which is called white line. And Prandeep, who is an associate <laughs> professor, your boss, he wants to discuss another space which is called ATFP, Arcus tendinus fascia pelvis. Now, how do we discuss these two spaces? They are Both talking same. about... <laughs> they are talking about two different spaces. No, they are talking about one space with two names. So, Monica, you said that it is a white line. So, uh, why the name is white line? Because that's how we see with our naked eye. It is white in color. I think that is why it is named as white man. I is don't it? think so. Okay. Uh, there is uh, even more white uh, than that is uh, our pectineous ligament. Uh -huh. Pe so, pectineal ligament. Leg pectineal ligament will be more whiter than that. So probably, what do you think? Why I the think name? it is because of named after uh, anatomist uh, White. Okay, <laughs> so the controversy, actually what they are presenting is not wrong. Throughout literature, if you search, nobody knows why we call white line or arcus tendinus fascia pelvis as white line. Half of the world believes that it is named after the anatomist who discovered it first. And though it is not the whitest oh. line in the pelvis, but half of the people said because of its appearance resembling with the color, the line is named as white line. So we will not go into the controversy too much. We don't care actually why the name is like that. What is important for us to understand what it is anatomically and what are the clinical applicability of using this space. So we'll start. Anatomically, if I ask you, I'll ask Monica the first question. So, Monica, okay. if you ask, if some beginner comes to you and says that, man, tell me what is white line? How will you explain it to that beginner? Ma'am, first, uh, if anyone comes to us with the white line question, I think they might not know what is white line, where is white line, but they will definitely know one structure in pelvis. What is, is that? Is <laughs> shale spine. Because that is the nodal point. So, very important point she raised that even if you don't know white line, forget it for a minute. You all the, uh, I will say even the undergraduates and even the first year PG would know because they would have done a pelvic assessment for a laboring patient. They would know what is skill spine. Anatomy children who have done MBBS will know what is skill spine. So skill spine we call the nodal point of pelvis and here from here only the story of white line starts. And how does it start Monica? Yes ma'am. So if we reach till ischial spine with our fingers inside the vagina and we try to sweep our fingers posteriorly we will find one tough structure. That is also well known ma'am. That is called sacrospinous ligament. Which Our is favorite important. ligament in pelvis, sacrospinous <laughs> ligament. ligament. Yeah. And we do the same anteriorly ma'am towards the pubic symphysis. We will find one more line that is our arcus tendina fascia pelvis or our white right line. line. Okay. So Prandeep, can you explain in yes, this model? Yeah. So how do you do that pelvic examination? Yes. And what are the finger sweeping movements which Monica what was referring to? This, this is our Mia model in pelvis. I will explain on Mia model how to feel for the ischial spine and then white line and then sacrospinous ligament. So first what we will do is like how you do in a pelvic examination, two fingers will go in the center of the vagina and then go laterally. I can feel here the spine, ischial spine. And then if I go sweep towards the backwards, you can see my fingers are touching the green uh, structure here. This is the sacrospinous ligament. And at the same sweep, if I go towards the anterior side, you can feel the white line. 
So as Pradeep explained and told you how easy it is to palpate white line vaginally. It's not big science. It is a simple step which he just explained. Now, Monica, I request you, can you tell if it is abdominal approach? Can we still see and feel the white line? Yes, ma'am. In abdominal approach, there is one good advantage, ma'am, because we don't have to open the peritoneum to get so. In abdominal approach, after we cut the rectus sheath and retract the rectus muscle, above the peritoneum, we have to go between the peritoneum and the pubic bone. Staying as close to the pubic bone as possible, we will encounter our first ligament that is inguinal ligament. As we go down the inguinal ligament, we will see one more ligament which is more wider than our white line which is also called lighthouse that is called pectineal ligament. As we go down from the pectineal ligament, we will find one muscle which is obturator internus. This muscle has a very good significance with the arcus tendinus fascia pelvis because arcus tendinus fascia pelvis is condensation of the lower border of this muscle, obturator internus. Dr. Monica has explained abdominal approach of white line very nicely. Now I am going to tell about um, how to reach white line through laparoscopy. For the sake of our convenience, I am remo detaching the uterus from its attachments in the MIA model, in our MIA model and keeping the uterus little downwards so that we can see the pelvis clearly. So in the laparoscopy, once you reach the peritoneal cavity uh, through the laparoscopic ports, you see the uh, uh, medial umbilical ligaments anterior on the anteriorly. So between the both the medial umbilical ligaments, you have to dissect from the loose area of tissue and then when you go downwards, you can see the white line, white, sorry, white uh, ligament which is the uh, uh, pectineal ligament and still further once you dissect it downwards you can see the uh, white under white structure that is the white line which is a condensation of uh, uh, obturator internus muscle here you can see this um, the red uh, red uh, structure this is the obturator internus muscle and its condensation will be here in the lower side will be the white line so that's how you will reach the white line so now you understand the anatomy of white line you also understand how to approach it vaginally you understand how to approach it abdominally and you also understand by laparoscope how you can uh, approach or reach the white line now one point i want to make you remember and it is a very beautiful point you would have heard that she is also telling some 5 cm, he is also telling something 5 cm while one is approaching through the vagina and other through laparoscope or abdominal method. So what is this rule of 5? So if you look at the pelvis, it is you know that it is 10 cm and you know that white uh, ischial spine in ops also when we teach the pelvis we say that ischial spine is the middle point that means ischial spine divides this pelvis into upper 5 centimeters and lower 5 centimeters so as monica said that if you go vaginally monica you told the vaginal approach yeah. so vaginal approach you have to uh, go around 5 centimeter inside to reach the ischial spine similarly when you adopt the entire abdominal approach from the upper border of the pubic symphysis again you have to dissect around 5, five cm so it is in the midpoint of the pelvis it does not matter whether you are approaching it abdominally or vaginally you have to dissect around 5 cm correct so with this if you have understood we'll move on to the thing which is very important for us what are those surgeries where we actually have to approach this white ligament are there too many surgeries or one or two surgeries. One or two, which is mainly the uh, cystocele para, para repair. Cystocele repair and one very specific kind of cystocele repair. Lateral cystocele. Lateral cystocele. The other name for this is paravaginal para defect. defect. So it is used for lateral cystocele or the paravaginal defect repair. Yes. So vaginally we can do it. It is difficult. Mm -hmm. So you have to use some needle mm -hmm. anchors or some need suture, suture. passer devices to approach that you cannot see it you can just feel it as monica told and you feel and you put some sutures there and tie yeah, it I, with paravaginal para. fascia abdominally when you are doing you can see, see everything it. and you take bites from there and then somebody I has to lift, lift the paravaginal tissue and you have to take bites from there this is how we repair paravaginal defect repair so paravaginal defect repair if prandeep mm -hmm. i go back uh, it was very easy when we were using meshes. Mesh. 
but now meshes have been banned. banned. Who has banned the meshes? FDA. FDA. <laughs> so actually it was a very good technique to take care of lateral cystic seal, but we cannot take use it, it now mm -hmm. because so we have to use some sutures and do native tissue repair, which is more difficult because as I told you, white line can only be felt, cannot be seen See. by vaginal approach. While abdominally, if you, you want, if you are skilled in laparoscopy like him, you can go and approach the white line and do a paravaginal defect repair. So anything else you want to discuss about white line? No. I think we have discussed many points. If we count, we have told you around 10 important points today about the white line. And if you have any other query about the structure, feel free to ask us in the comment box below and we'll uh, try to answer your question as, as much as possible and as, as soon, soon as, as possible. So be ready with the second space, space which we are going to discuss and guess what is the space is going to be. Till then, stay tuned and like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. watching. Thank you.